So because I've been closing spondylitis, a chronic inflammatory disease that wants to fuse my spine together, round me forward, cause inflammation, I really need to strength train to support the body, protect the joints and support upright posture. So I'm working the back, I'm working the core, but I want to remain as strong as possible to help remain upright to also protect the body. So this is what I do. I use the ground a lot so I can get my back flush so I can work on that posture. Low back drilled in, abs squeezed. A little safer position, my shoulders don't round forward. Most of my strength training is slow controlled. But when I was diagnosed, I wanted to change my ways a little bit because I didn't want to stress the body more. I didn't want to put stress on the joints when lifting, but you can lift it in a controlled way, but still be a savage and still get strong. So I like to combine strength training with body weight, lengthening the spine while strengthening the back and core. Sometimes I even add mobility into my strength training to again, help remain loose. Because I don't want to tighten up. Loose and strong is always the goal. Another key for strength, loosening but getting strong, using resistance bands. Getting a nice stretch, but also can work on that strength of the upper back. So I kind of just put together this mini routine to show the different things I utilize. Support system. Now I'm gonna bring my knees up, low back drilled in, abs squeezed, same idea. My strength training routines are actually a lot shorter than they used to be. Because a lot of those people with AS are dealing with fatigue, that stiffness and tightness. So start small, mini routines, something your body responds well to. I'm moving a little quick for video's sake, but you would slow this down. Find moves that are comfortable, that you can safely progress, but I just wanted to show how I combine the mobility, the movement with the strength training to stay loose, yet strong, stable, help support the body in the right way. All right, I'm gonna finish this out. I want to get two good rounds. All right, so those are some of the things I utilize to again, remain strong in a safe way, using the ground for that press variation, adding some resistance bands, adding some kind of movement, blood flow, putting it all together. You can even start with these mini routines to get the body going, elevate the heart rate a little bit. Let me know what type of stuff you do for strength training for ankylosing spondylitis.